Thank you for clicking this video. I welcome you to Bar Talk with Ola. This is Mujela Olua. And today I want to talk about Noli Prosequi. Noli Prosequi, it's uh, related to criminal litigation in Nigeria. And it basically just means in layman terms, I do not want to prosecute or we do not want to prosecute or we no longer intend to prosecute or we do not prosecute as you would like it. Noli Prosequi is a constitutional right or power conferred on the Attorney General of the Federation or the Attorney General of States in Nigeria, which allows them to discontinue any matter in court without even explaining why. So a criminal matter might be going or it could be armed robbery, murder, you know, or rape or stealing, whatever, before uh, a court in Nigeria. And the Attorney General could just show up in court and tell the court that the state no longer wishes to prosecute the person in which case the person will then be discharged. So I'm going to read the portions of the Constitution that provide for Noli Prosecuit to you. I'm going to read from uh, Section 174 and Section 211 of the Nigerian Constitution. Section 174.1c in particular says that the Attorney General of the Federation shall have power to discontinue at any stage before judgment is delivered any such criminal proceedings instituted or undertaken by him or any other authority or person and two and three subsections two and three explain further the powers conferred upon the attorney general of the federation under subsection one of this section may be exercised by him in person or through officers in his department in exercising his powers under this section the attorney general of the federation shall have regard to the public interest the interest of justice and the need to prevent abuse of legal process Let's go to section 211. 211 subsection 1c also says the Attorney General of a state shall have power to discontinue at any stage before judgment is delivered any such criminal proceedings instituted or undertaken by him or any other authority or person. 2 and 3 says the powers conferred upon the Attorney General of a state under subsection 1 of this section may be ex exercised by him in person or through officers of his department. In exercising his powers under this section, the Attorney General of his state shall have regard to the public interest, the interest of justice, and the need to prevent abuse of legal process. So what these sections are saying uh, is that um, in Nigeria, when uh, you know that uh, the Attorney General is the one that institutes criminal matters at the High Court especially, for better perspective, I'd like you to watch the videos we've done on this channel on criminal proceedings, criminal litigation. There's a whole criminal prosecution section on this channel, a playlist. Please play it, watch it, so that you have better perspective. But essentially, the Attorney General is the one that files criminal matters, is the one that charges people to court on behalf of a state. Of course, the officers in his departments, they usually do it. So yeah, this is how Ministry of Justice works. In Nigeria, we have the Federal Ministry of Justice and the State Ministry of Justice. Let me use the State Ministry of Justice as an example, as pertains to criminal matters, of course. So we have the Attorney General as the head, and then the next in line to him is the Solicitor General, and then we have the Director of Public Prosecutions. So the Director of Public Prosecutions handles all criminal matters. So he has officers, state council, senior state council, chief state council, principal state council, all manner of state council, and deputy directors under him. They undo criminal matters on behalf of the Attorney General who undoes it on behalf of the state. So criminal matters are filed on behalf of the state. That's why you have the state and Kolido, the state and Sergius Paulus and so on and so forth. So when the uh, state has filed a criminal matter, it's been filed, the charge already in court, that means the court is properly assessed of the matter already. The Attorney General can come at any time so he can come personally or he can give written authorization to any of the officers that I've mentioned to go to court and discontinue the matter and tell the court the state no longer wishes to prosecute. So we are no longer interested in this matter. And thus the court will discharge the accused person, the defendant. Now that's just a discharge, not an acquittal. That means that autrify acquittal will not avail the person I've talked about ultra when I talked about pleas, taking a plea, you know, how to open, crim how criminal trials are opened. Um, please watch the video on arraignment for better un understanding on that. So, um, 
the attorney general can come and tell the court, we no longer want to prosecute this person, and the court will discharge the person. If it's in court personally, he can say it by mouth, and the court will record it and discharge the person. And if it's not in court, he can give written authorization to the director of public prosecutions or to any other deputy director or any of the state council to go to court and discontinue a matter that the state no longer has any interest in pursuing the matter. Now, they may give reason or they may not give reason. But uh, the Constitution guides by saying that um, it should be in the interest of, uh, you know, the country or the state, that's if it's a federal if, if it's at the federal level or the state level, the Constitution just says that uh, it should have regard to public interest, the interest of justice, and the need to prevent abuse of legal process. So this is a very, uh, very wide discretionary power, also absolute in nature. Of course, these guidelines must guide the Attorney General, but who is to decide what's in public interest or not? But this is what nolly prosecui means in Nigeria. So the Attorney General can come into court and discontinue a criminal matter. So once the Attorney General has uh, entered nolly prosecui, the court must enter it for him and discontinue the matter. If the defendant is in custody, he must be released with immediate effect or if it's on bail, all his bail terms and conditions must be, you know, done away with and is now free unconditionally, but it is a discharge. That means that the same Attorney General's office can come and try the person for that same offence. They just need to bring a different warrant and uh, prepare fresh charges and all of that. But that is not an acquittal. It does not mean that the person is innocent or did not do that thing. It just means that the state decided that they don't want to prosecute the person at that time. And they may never prosecute the person again, but they might also come back again. But that will be on fresh terms, fresh charges, and, you know, kick-starting the whole process again, not using the old things, the old charge and all of that they've, they've used before. But it is a discharge, not an acquittal and it is an absolute power. That's all I want to talk about in this video. Make sure you watch the playlist on criminal prosecutions in Nigeria. I will see you in my very next video. Toodles!